Hey, how's it going, guys? So yesterday I got an email uh, asking what happens uh, if I want to use my API key in instead of using the OAuth token to use with Google API services. So for example, so if you log into your uh, Google Cloud Platform uh, dashboard, and if you go under the APIs and the services uh, credentials, here you can create a set of API key. So in general, you have two different ways to uh, access the Google API services endpoint. If you are building an application or a program that needs to be distributed to a third party users, then usually you want to use the OAuth uh, 2.0 client ID. But if you are purely just using the Google API services like Google Sheets, Google Drive, or Google Doc to uh, automate some of your things that you do on a daily basis or weekly basis, then uh, using the API key will be much easier. So in this video, I'm going to show you an example how to use uh, the API key to log in to the Google API service endpoint. So here's my API key. So here I'm going to copy this API key to my uh, Python script. And by the way, I'm going to remove this API key uh, after this video. Now, if you are using the API key to access the uh, Google API service, then all you need is the build function. So from Google API client module dot discover discovery, and want to import the build function. So let me just run the function by itself. So let's like me the typo. Uh, discover oh discovery. Okay, now here we have the build function. We have the API key. Now all we need to do is we just need to provide the service name. So for example, I want to uh, use Google Sheets API to maybe to automate some of my uh, daily tasks. So here we can construct a service instance by using the build function. And all we need to do is we just need to provide the API service name, API version, and within the build function, there's a parameter called developer key. And here you want to provide the API key, and that's it. Now if I print and use the dir function to print all the available uh, attributes of the service instance. So let me move this to the top. And here, <clears throat> and by looking at the output, so we know that um, this service instance is to the uh, spreadsheet API service. So this is everything for the video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, see you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.